everyone. So today we're going to be decorating my bedroom for the holidays. We're going to do a whole decorate with me style video where we hang out and just decorate my bedroom. We're going to make my holiday bed, do the whole thing. But before we jump into this, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video. Since it has to do with my mattress, we're going to be decorating today. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Birch Living. If you haven't heard me talk about Birch Living before, Birch is a premium mattress in a box company and their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. And it was important to me to pick out a birch mattress that was made from organic and natural materials because I can sleep so much easier knowing that I'm avoiding the harmful o-gassing chemicals that can happen in the manufacturing process. Also, in addition to being better for me, birch is committed to being better for the planet. So I love that my mattress isn't releasing any harmful emissions into the air. And I ordered the birch Lux mattress, which is a premium upgrade to their original well-loved birch natural mattress. I've had my birch Lux mattress now for about a year and we've been loving it. I love how easy it is to fall asleep, but I feel like you never know how bad your old mattress got until you get a good new mattress and you don't feel as creaky in the morning. Like I thought I was just getting older. <laughs> That's what I thought it was, but my mattress was so worn. And with Birch, you get a hundred night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. And the best part of all is the Birch mattress is delivered straight to your door for free within the US. And it comes rolled up in a box. So it's super easy to set up yourself. You just bring the box to wherever you need it to go. Then you unravel the mattress. It takes takes form and then you just adjust it to your bed and you're good to go. Also, each Birch mattress comes with two of their EcoRest pillows made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. Also, I can't mention Birch without mentioning their mattress topper. If you love a soft mattress, which I do, you gotta try their mattress topper. It is like sleeping on a cloud. It is my favorite thing ever. If you've been looking for a new bed, definitely check out Birch. You can click the link down in my description box or go to birchliving.com slash Jade the Libra for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Anyways, now we're gonna head upstairs. We're gonna decorate my bedroom for the holidays. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. Let's go. We're gonna start with the holiday bed because I get the most excited about decorating the bed or, you know, just putting bedding on and making it all festive. Neens is not happy right now. Hold on, hold on to your, your blankies. I'll scoot you up. You can come sit with mom. I love a good festive bed. So we're gonna use this quilt. I'm all excited about this this year. This is new. So we're gonna do a whole different theme in the bedroom this year. Uh, I got this, if you saw my holiday decor haul. Anyways, if you saw that, then you may have seen this. I'll have it linked in the description box. Actually, most of the stuff that I use for the bed, I'll link in the description box. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll be where it says view products in this video or view products in current video, something like that. So I'm gonna make my bed right now. We're gonna start. Needs, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you cruising off to, huh? So I'm gonna make my bed the way I usually do. I'm gonna do my all black bedding. So we're just gonna go ahead and start that where the quilt is gonna go over top. And I don't know what we're doing pillow wise. I don't know what we're doing. Let's move your bed out of the way. First we're gonna put all these sheets on, but do you do holiday sheets or a holiday bed? Even if it's just throw pillows or something on the nightstand, like a little tree or something, you know what I mean? We're just making this bed if i don't rip all my nails off in the process she's just dying to get back on her bed i know it's it'll just be a second right that's not the straightest bed i've ever made we don't need to be here for 300 years <laughs> let me just put this out there black sheets are just a really bad idea for a whole family of silver-haired folk <laughs> including means they all have silver hair so it just sticks to the bedding like no other. All right, just tucking this into the sides. Ooh, this is like 300 pounds. I know, wait, is this the right? We do anything the right way? Did I mess all this up? Yes. So then pull this down and we're gonna get Needs' bed set up again because you know she's gonna throw, what the heck? She's gonna throw a whole fit if we don't have our bed all set up. We're gonna get you a nice fresh bed. How about that? Okay, we're gonna get Neans back in bed. Sure bed. And now we gotta get a potty pad down. You gotta get your potty pad on, Neans. He's a big one. 
just in case you tinkle. Let's put this gray blankie down. Get all tucked in. We're gonna put this bat blanket down. It's not Christmassy. Kind of goes with the color scheme, other than the orange. We gotta get the padding in there. She loves a good padded bed. So we're also gonna put this little ghosty blanket in there. And then we're gonna put her in her bed. There you go. Get her all nice and tucked in. Are you gonna be happy there, you think? And your spooky blankies? You think you'll be happy there? Okay. Next, we're gonna throw this quilt on, even though I didn't think this over. We need to unfold that. So let's get this quilt on and see if it works out. I'm excited. I don't know if we're gonna use the shams. I'm not sure. The shams came with the quilts, but I kinda like to mix it up sometimes where it's not so matchy-matchy, you know? So I might just use my regular black kind of pillow things, you know? I'm gonna fold this back because she's not having it. Anyone else have dogs that just love being in bed? Like they don't want to be anywhere else. She does not, now that she's an old gal, she does not want to be anywhere but in bed. All right, how do we feel about the, the quilt? And there's still a flat area right here. What, why? Why? Why are you flat? How do we get you to fluff, fluff, fluff? I think it looks nice with the black. Actually, you know what? I feel like the shams are gonna look good because there's black right here to where if we did black pillows. So I'm thinking if I just do the black pillows and then the quilt, it's gonna be just like all black and then random print. So if we mix it up, break it up, I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. And I don't know why this is so dang short. Are you helping? You are. Thank you. Let's get the shams. I like that word, sham. King shams, and they have little bows on them or ties. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna make it work. What have you guys been up to? Have you been enjoying the holiday season yet? <laughs> Is it here? I don't even know. This, this year went by so fast. The summer went by at a snail's pace. Of course it did. But then as soon as September hit, it was like, Okay, I don't even know what planet I'm on. How? How did that even happen? Where does the time go means? I remember when you were just a little baby. You were just a little baby. I know. Just went by so fast, means. I could tie anything with my nails. Okay. All right, here's one side. I kind of like these. They're kind of cutesy, but whatever, I like them. Other side. This is Needs' least favorite part where she starts getting buried in the pillows. All right, so I don't know what kind of throw pillows we're gonna do, but I get all excited about the throw pillows. You know I do. We have some options though. We actually have holiday pillows this time, everybody. But I got some off Amazon this year, and I'll have them linked down in the description box. Once again, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll say view products in this video or whatever. That's where these will be. I got the white faux fur ones with the silver snowflakes and the black fuzzy ones with the silver snowflakes. And I got the slightly off-white snowflake one. This quality on this one is really good, but it's slightly off-white. And I don't think, like this is, the, the quilt is white white, like bright white. But I also have this one from last year. I'm gonna cut this off. Anyways, I got this little winter cabin pillow from Walmart last year. It could go with the winter forest vibe. I don't know yet. We're gonna play around with it. And Needs is gonna be really upset. You might have to hold her. Come here. All right, now that Needs is out of her bed, we can kinda move these. She's not loving this holiday bed. All right, we're gonna, we'll straighten these pillows, don't worry about it. So, I was thinking the black snowflake pillows, and then maybe the white, and this, and this. You hear screaming children it's because they're outside. All right, that's an option. What do you think of that? We could even do the little guy in the center. How does it look? What, what do we think? I don't know how I feel about the village. We could do the black on the outside. I don't know, there's so many options. The black on the outside. The white on the inside, then the village, or I don't know what this, or holiday cottage. I don't know why I keep calling it a village. It's just one cottage. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like that? That's cute. Okay, like this. How do we feel about that? 
means what you doing? Are you so upset? <laughs> Do you see her? <laughs> Are you creeping on me, Neens? We're doing black, white, and silver. I kind of wanted to stay on that theme in here, in this room. Last year we did a bunch of these kind of, these kind of evergreen looking tree things. But I thought this year we could go with some black branchy trees because we have some left over from Halloween time. But I thought maybe the black branchy trees, and hear me out before you're over it, thought about putting one on each side. And this is the area where we put on our shoes and mainly I just stacked my clothes. But I was thinking a branchy tree situation. And on the chair over here, I have another one of these cottage pillows. So we have this cottage pillow that I thought we could put there. And it kind of just goes with the whole black and white thing. I like the pillow so far. But the floor area, on one side, we can do this disco reindeer situation. <laughs> if you saw my holiday haul, then you know all about disco reindeer. Uh, I got that from Home Goods. And on the other side, I was thinking this cute little owl. This little white owl. And that way we can pull in some of the white. So we have black, white, and silver, a silver poof. But I think it's kind of a cute little wintry seating area. Like over here in my little seating area or futon area, I'm gonna put this branchy tree. We had extra branchy trees this year. I don't know if you just saw that, but I'm putting a branchy tree here is what I'm doing. And I added the same thing to the other side with Bailey's little shrine or little, you know, altar. Anyway, so on this futon situation, we're, we're gonna put some pillows. I'm gonna leave that striped blanket there, but I am gonna put some of these, uh, these, Snowflake pillows, got these pillow covers once again off Amazon. So then I thought about putting, these are the only ones I have left over. I found these cute little, what is on this? Tape, <laughs> of course. Uh, but I found these cute little mistletoe pillows from Target Dollar, or Bullseye Playground last year, their dollar section. Found these little mistletoe pillows, so I'm gonna put that there and I think, I think that's all I'm gonna do. And then, listen to what I did, y'all. Listen to what I did. I made this whole bed and totally forgot to put up our wreath above our bed, the silver wreath we're gonna go with. Uh, did we go with this wreath last year? I feel like we did, if we didn't. Then we're going with it this year, this silver branchy wreath that I got from, where did I get this from? Uh, I got this from Home Goods several years ago and I put some lights on it, so we're gonna turn them on and try to tuck in the battery pack so we can't see them, but you know how that goes. They're just dangling, dangling all over the place. I remember last year, was it last year? We were putting on these lights and Bailey kept running back and forth, pacing back and forth. He was so curious. He was so curious about what I was doing. And I really miss him a lot this year. So, you know, it's tough. But we have all the good memories, so. Anyways, now I gotta remake the bed. Oh God, I don't feel perfect for our theme this year, I feel like. Let me remake the bed and we'll do a final send off because I think we're done. All right, we're gonna attempt to make this bed again. <laughs> After, Neans is downstairs, by the way, with Dallas. Uh, and don't worry, she's very upset about it. She just gets all worked up. She doesn't like anybody doing anything. We left a little space for Neans, but she's not even in there. Here we go. Now, I think we did black, chop, chop. Nothing feels better if you have anger <laughs> pent up inside. <laughs> Holiday stress pent up inside. Wait, we want to do the other way. Nothing beats a good chop of the old pillow. I mean, I'm not gonna money back guarantee that, but I will say it does help. Oh, I think we did two white on the inside and then two black and silver on the outside. And then we have the cottage pillow. Okay, what's happening here? Why is this? There's that. And then let's put our little cottage pillow right there. It's festive.
perspective, and that's what we care about the most. Right, everybody? This is exactly what I was thinking when I got this comforter set thing, and I didn't know if I, I okay, so I went out shopping for throw pillows, and I couldn't hardly find any. I didn't like any of them. So Amazon came through this year. Once again, they'll be linked. Well, except for the cottage ones. Anyways, that is it. We are done decorating my bedroom for the holidays. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, well, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, let me know if you decorated your bedroom for the holidays, if you have a theme, or if you got any cute little holiday sheets this year or anything like that. Or if you just keep it spooky all year round. I love to hear it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.